Good morning, I'm Al Lippman, Mayor of Mesquite. I want to answer a few comments I received through the city website. The first one is very important to know about. The question is, quote, I'd like to know how I can get text messages regarding emergencies within the city, such as fires, floods, road closures due to accidents, and more. You need to text your zip code to the number 888-777 to opt in or to sign up to stay informed on critical events that could directly affect you. Again, text your zip code to 888-777. You should receive alerts for severe weather, criminal activities, severe traffic, missing persons, or local events. Should you decide at some point that it's not for you, you can always opt out by texting STOP ALL to 888-777 or 333-111. If you've got AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon Wireless, and almost any other carrier, they are supported. Someone asked me why I take down posts on some social media sites. I have no idea how to do this and no interest in doing it whatsoever. I have no subjects that I need to remove from any media site. And again, I don't know how to do it anyway. End of subject. The same individual was upset that I read a proclamation on Gay Pride Month. This proclamation was approved by the city council with no objections. I did not write the proclamation and the same basic proclamation was read in nearly every city in Nevada as well as across the United States. The proclamation recognized Gay Pride Month, which is over by the way, and nothing more. He also commented about me allowing a gay person to speak after receiving the proclamation. That individual, as well as any individual, has the right to speak before the city council, as long as they're not in violation of free speech guidelines. And another related subject that I received, uh, I sent out a campaign letter, and I'm not campaigning on this site whatsoever, but I sent it out, um, and I've done it many times. It was obvious who sent it because I signed them, and the return address was my home address. He wanted to know why I didn't put a disclaimer on it. There's no requirement, by the way, to put a disclaimer, and that's the end of that subject. Okay, we'll move on. I had the opportunity to visit the STEAM, the STEAM Center the other day. STEAM, if you're not aware, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics. Our center offers all of this for our young learners. Please stop by at 312 Mesquite Boulevard, the old Bulldog Center, which is right across from Los Lupes. You'll be amazed at what they have to offer your children, and at no cost to you. They have a free summer camp program, and for what I observed, it's wonderful. The children were having a great time and learning so much. The center's open Monday through Thursday from 9 to 5, Friday from 9 to 4, and Saturday from 8 to 2. It is supervised by professionals, and it is a safe environment for your child to learn and play in. Fourth of July is coming up. Fireworks will be just below the sports and events complex. Bring your own seating, of course, and bring lots of water. It's going to be hot. As far as fireworks on your own, please be safe. Fireworks can cause serious burns, not only to yourself, but to property. Our fire department will have enough to do on the 4th, so don't start fires by being careless with fireworks. And on, on the subject of hot, there are a number of people that I hear every year where the air conditioning system goes out. And if, you know, it, it never fails, it's gonna go out on the hottest day of the year. If your AC is out and you don't know what to do and you are seriously concerned about your health, please call the fire department or call the police department. Don't sit in a hot house or apartment and suffer. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.